Hi, I am making this video to appeal to people out there. At the moment, we are taking every precaution we've been told about. Most of us are social distancing, stay at home. But there's one step that I really, really hope that people will share, share this video. When we have to go out, maybe in four weeks time, maybe to the pharmacy, a doctor, a dentist, maybe you've got a terrible toothache, you've had it for a few days. Uh, you have to go out to the grocery store. There is one area that you have no control of, that we absolutely need to take control of. And that is the air you breathe when you are out in public in a closed space. I'm talking about a doctor's waiting room. I'm talking about the checkout line at your supermarket. Simple places like that. At a pharmacy. At the moment, there's careful attention being paid to social distancing. One at a time, please. Keep the distance. But here's the problem. Everybody is breathing. We have to. And if you are infected, you are going to release aerosols involuntarily. There will be small quantities of saliva that you breathe out. We all do it. And if you are infected, that saliva will contain potentially viruses. And those viruses will float in the air. And they can be viable for quite some time, perhaps even an hour or more which means when somebody leaves the store that has an infection and you step into the space where that person was standing, you will breathe in that virus and the next person will and the next person will. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can help ourselves in these confined spaces. Into each confined space, the lineups, the waiting rooms, Vertical flow ventilation systems need to be put in. They are relatively easy to install. And outside, there can be a HEPA filtration system. I happen to be the designer of such a system. And so everybody looks at me and says, ah, oh, taking advantage of a difficult situation. But there's something else to think about. There's something else to think about is that I have a device I know of a device that I will not personally install, that I will not personally make, that will help clean the air so that when somebody breathes out, that air floats down and away and is filtered before it's brought back into the room, virus-free, aerosol-free, so that when we move from position to position, we are not moving into the airspace of somebody who may have been infected. And in this way, we will dramatically slow the spread of these viruses in public. Please spread the word to the people who are responsible for the large public spaces. The store owners, the huge store owners, the Costco's, the Walgreens, the CVS. It's time to act. It's time to make the areas where we line up, where we have to sit and wait, safer, so that we can go into those spaces and not wonder who's been breathing here. A final word. The aerosols we breathe out is very similar to somebody smoking a cigar or a cigarette in a point. That person can leave the room and when you walk in there, you can smell that cigar. You can smell that smoke. That is the same mechanism that these viruses are transferred through which is why they spread so rapidly, so uncontrollably, irrespective of the amount of hand washing that goes on. If anybody has to go into a common public space where other people have been, you are subjected to these airborne viruses. And it simply requires downflow ventilation. And then the air will be cleared for the next breath you take. Please. Somebody just has to make a decision. The person who owns the building has to make that decision. The government. Because only they can make that decision. You cannot bring 
this in yourself. Please spread the word. And all the people responsible, the leaders out there that can influence decisions that are made to protect large spaces, think about it. Not only for this particular virus, but for the future too. We really can slow down and largely stop the rampant, unexpected spread of these airborne viruses. This is how they're spreading. This is what causes the danger. Please share this video, tell everybody about it, and hopefully we can reach people that can make the decision to implement protection so that we can go into areas and not be afraid of the air we breathe.